It's only been 3 months since Nvidia has released their RTX 30 series and all the rumors point to a new GPU that is on its way. Lovelace AD102 is what they're calling it and it is expected to have double the graphics processing clusters and a huge percentage of CUDA core upgrades in comparison with the current and previous generation. If the rumors are indeed true, it's going to be one monster level of GPU that might give AMD a tough time. Followed by initial rumors of VideoCards.com, NVIDIA's Ampere successor, the Lovelace AD102, is named after the English mathematician Ada Lovelace, who is known as one of the first computer programmers due to her work on the analytical engine. AD102 is expected to be one hell of a GPU with double the performance level from the current generation of NVIDIA cards. Funny thing is, the next biggest thing from NVIDIA was supposed to be the Hopper GPU architecture which, according to Tweaktown, was supposed to be a powerful multi-chip module GPU. But obviously, that got buried beneath the pile of AD102 leaks and rumors and possibly be delayed as well. Although the topic is quite fresh, the series is expected to be a completely new architecture from NVIDIA's side. A third gen Ampere architecture perhaps? Though it will be quite foolish to jump to any conclusion this early as the card could just be a next generation Tesla or a really powerful computing card. Still, there is a high possibility that the Lovelace AD102 might end up to be an RTX 4080 Ti and further extend the lineup. The rumor snowball began rolling about Nvidia's Lovelace architecture with Copilot 7 Kimi's Twitter posts who is considered to be a reliable source with Nvidia leaks so far. Nvidia has given their GA102 cards a 7x6 architecture and if Copilot 7 Kimi's prediction turns out to be true, the rumored card is likely to get a 12x6 architecture. According to Tech Power Up's prediction, the card will have a 71% increase in shader counts that surpasses the GA102 by a significant proportion. GA102 has already proven itself with its outstanding gaming and rendering performance and if the 71% performance increase claim turns out to be true, imagine what the AD102 will be capable of doing. Followed by this prediction of Copilot 7 Kimi, 3D Sensor has further forecasted the possible specifications that the card might include. To speak briefly about their calculation, according to 3dcenter.org, Lovelace AD102 is likely to get a massive upgrade of 18,432 CUDA cores, which is almost double in comparison with the RTX 3090's 10,496 core count. Theoretically speaking, this card can also get 144 streaming multiprocessors with 1.80 GHz clock speed, which Tech Power Up predicts. Video Cards has also put together a nice little chart where they have compared the rumored card with previously released Ampere GA102 and turning TU102 to give us a clearer picture about the huge performance and spec leaps and how it can possibly be the next big thing in the gaming market that AMD should also take under their consideration in a competitive perspective. According to this chart, Lovelace AD102 will have 12 graphics processing clusters which is double the count of turning 6 and 5 more than Ampere's cluster count. Furthermore, the new GPU is way ahead in texture processing, streaming multiprocessors and teraflops as well. Though the memory bus might remain more or less similar at a 384 bit rate. So far, what Nvidia has invented and released, the DLSS technology is a revolutionary one. According to Reddit user one Evil Soap one deep learning super sampling or DLSS in short is considered to be the future of game rendering as it does an outstanding job in pushing the frames per second and in some cases the visuals as well in the most convenient way possible. Now the question is, will this rumored Lovelace AD102 be back with a beefed up version of the DLSS technology by tweaking and reshaping it or will it remain the same? Over the decade, both the gaming community and industry have undergone huge upgrades as more and more components, consoles and technologies keep getting released. If we consider the release cycles of these components, specifically Nvidia's GPUs, 
RTX 2080 was released on September 20, 2018, followed by RTX 3080's initial release on September 17, 2020. So the current GPU cycle holds two years. Now what does it indicate in terms of the latest rumored NVIDIA's GPU? Judging by the leaks, Lovelace AD102 might arrive no later than 2022. For now, NVIDIA is expected to refresh their current lineup, the RTX 30 series, which has been released only three months ago. So there is a high possibility for the card to arrive under the GeForce RTX 40 series lineup. As there is no confirmed release date, it is safe to say the release cycle will continue as it has been for every two years. From a competitive perspective, NVIDIA is unsettled with the AMD RDNA 2 as it is conflicting with their Ampere series in terms of performance and price. So it is quite logical that they will be back with something bigger to have an upper hand over AMD. Logically, this further reinforces the rumors and leaks to have greater possibility. The most amazing thing about this NVIDIA and AMD rivalry is that their competition turns out to be a win-win situation for the gaming community as they keep producing more and more powerful GPU and other components to always stay one step ahead in the competition.